Hey everybody, my name is Ryan White. I'm with Transource Trucks based out of Greensboro, North Carolina. And today we're going to talk about this new 2020 Hino XL8. This is Hino's Class 8 offering. It's just come out. We've been waiting for it for a while. And there's lots of big features that come with this truck. This one's actually set up for the beverage industry. It's a single axle. Um, 4x2 truck. You'd be able to get a tandem, but right now the tandems aren't out. A um, couple things to talk about. This truck has LED headlights on the front. Um, engine configurations that can come from 300 horsepower to 360 horsepower. And the foot pounds are 900 foot pounds to 1150. As you walk around, you'll notice it's different from the other Hinos. The grill's a bit bigger. You have a three piece front bumper. Um, it's meant for an urban environment. So as we all know in an urban environment, these side bumpers can take a beating. You easily be able to replace those without having to replace the in whole entire front bumper. Um, as we come around the truck, on the passenger side, we'll start here, you'll notice you've got multiple mirrors and you've also got the curbside mirror up at the top. These mirrors are heated and power, but you'll notice this door opens full 80 degrees. Um, so it's got a real easy way to get in and out, not to mention how many grab bars there are to get in and out of the truck. Um, it's very easy to climb inside and outside of this truck, and on the inside of the truck, as you can tell, is a very good size cab. Um, lots of leg room, lots of space, even on the driver's side, which you're, you'll see when we get over there. Um, storage compartments from up above, it's got this nice tray section you can either put your ELD or you can put your phone um, so you can have your phone sitting there it has Bluetooth so if you pair it with your with your radio you can actually have conversations through the speaker system on the truck um, cab is got an air it's an air cab and this truck is actually an air suspension And it also, it, this one's a single axle. So this, like I said before, this truck was set up for the beverage industry. Um, you can get a vertical exhaust. This one has its horizontal exhaust on it. Um, it com comes with its fifth wheel on it. And it's ready for a beverage trailer to haul around town. You can lower and raise the air suspension from inside the cab. Truck comes with a rear light for early mornings when it's dark to be able to connect with. Um, just to give you better visibility and I, overall it's just an extremely nice truck. This one has disc brakes all the way around also. On the back to be able to get the, your trailer, your air brake connector, connections you got at a good size step. It's got a good platform in the middle. As you saw, you had a nice grab handle there. And then it's actually got its little holster for its plug-in and everything else for your trailer brake. Um, lights and then your air connections. As we come back around, again we see this 80 degree door opening. This one has jump studs on the side beside the battery box. You can also get the disconnect put in right there. This one does not have that. Um, your def filters below it or your def tanks below it. Your, this is a 50 gallon tank. Um, and then as we climb back in you'll see just how easy this truck is to get in and how much space it has. I even have this right here set all the way back. I mean, if you push it forward, you're there. Um, so one of the big things you'll notice about this new XL8 is the interior has been completely revamped. We have multiple spots for extra plug or extra buttons if you have accessories that you need to run on your truck. This truck actually has traction control and also has heated mirrors. That's your DPF manual clean if you need to do that. Um, again, I mentioned the trailer brake, your parking brakes here, your air supply for your trailers here, and the Allison push button transmission controls here. It's a nice, neat package how everything's put together. 
you have one, two, three different charge ports um, to power different things from your ELD, your phone, what, what else you might need. Um, interface is completely different. The other thing you'll notice when you get in one of these and you're looking around, you're in an urban environment, things are going to be tight. You can see completely very, very well in one of these Hinos. Big front windshield. You have a 50 degree wheel cut on the front, which really allows this truck to get in and out of places very easily. Dash. Before on the other truck you had your control buttons down here. With this truck all of your controls are actually right here on the steering wheel. You've got your air horn, your city horn, and your cruise control is set right on your steering wheel which makes it a lot easier to set cruise or anything else if you are commuting on the highway here to there. Um, this truck comes with a jake brake with multiple positions. You know, all the way down is the heaviest brake. You've got a middle and then you've got an off. Um, your windshield wiper controls are here. Your headlights are over here. Pass, everything else. Pretty standard. You can lower the back of the truck to set up for a trailer and raise it from right here with this button. Um, and then you also have more accessory button spots, which is really big. Your dimmer for your interiors here. You can set your cruise when you come back right there. You'll be you can hit hit your set speed, and you're not having to look at the dial as much as you can actually see what the set speed mile per hour is to the digital number, which I feel I find is a big thing. Your air for your front and your rear brakes. Your gauge is right there, and then you have all of your you know there's your coolant temperature, your def feel, and the tank fuel, diesel fuel. One of the things you'll notice when you're getting out of the truck, this platform is really pretty big. Um, and I think that helps a lot between having these handles here of being able to get in and out of the truck really easily. As we shut this door, we're gonna, we unlock the hood. I got the other side a minute ago. It's a nice light hood. Well, I say that. It's lighter than a Mac, and well, it's lighter than some other trucks out there too. As you lift it up, it's a pretty, it's a pretty compact design with this engine. This engine is the A09 engine. It has um, been around since 2007. It's new to the North American market, but Hino Global has had it in other countries since 2007. And it's some crazy number in billions of miles that this engine's ran. The B10 life rating on this truck is a million miles. Um, it comes with a five-year, 250,000 standard Hino warranty, but there are many variations that you can get with it, depending on what your use is or how many miles you're putting on a year. Um, as far as checking, doing your driver checks in the morning, your old dipstick is down here. I like this. The transmission's on the right side with the oil. On the other truck or the, our other engine, it's on the other side. Easy min max, be able to tell on your power steering. Um, the truck, being able to come through and do your driver check in the morning is, is pretty intuitive how you can get to it. Transmission, Allison. This one has Allison 3000 in it. That is a five year unlimited mile warranty right out of the gate. That's something new for Hino going into 2020, and I think it's phenomenal. It's a great warranty to have, and it's it's baked into it, so there's no upcharge. Engine-wise, since it's been around since 2007, this engine, they've logged billions of miles on it. It's actually been the Dakar engine in the Dakar Rally for Hino over the last few years. I'm not positive on the amount of years, but um, it's definitely one and that's pretty impressive in itself. Again, my name is Ryan White. I'm with Transource Trucks out of Greensboro, North Carolina. Thank you guys for taking the time to look at this new Hino XL8 with us today. If you want to learn more about it, go to transourcetrucks.com. You can always call us at 800-849-0611. And to see more of our videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll be updated anytime we update videos. Thanks again. Have a great day.